go back to bed. I feel like we're starting all these going to bed. I need to stop that. I need to figure out something to start them on better. And Ryuji's now got the eyeball on his phone. They're always watching you. Don't worry. Don't ask questions. Just know that they're watching you. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah. So I definitely got to find a better thing than going to bed to start this thing on. Okay, so last time we got Ryuji, uh, we need to go uncover Kamoshida's abuse, as it said in the top right. Don't know how we're going to actually do it. I think we're supposed to just go talk to guys, so. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? We'll just say yeah. We'll lie oh, to him. Glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power. Haven't you? Yeah. He looked... He was actually pretty cool. I like our guys better, but... ...important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Alright, so these are our confidants. This is what keeps opening up. Alright. Indeed. So that's what keeps popping up. Now I know that. Even myself or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> We have a deal, then. I am Thou. All right, so that means he's one of our confidants. I, thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Wild talk allows you to negotiate with shadows after forming a holdup. Okay, Arcana burst. Arcana. Is it Arcana or Arcana? All right. We'll see. Surely somebody will say it. I gotta wait for people to say stuff so that way I know how to pronounce it. Cause I will pronounce stupid stuff. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. We'll say this so far about Persona 5. Is if you don't like, like... Well, I guess I could skip most of the cutscenes and it probably wouldn't be that bad. Makes it like long, you know, story. I can't do this. Drawn out stuff because it, you know, this opening part, we haven't even really got to a lot of the, like we've gotten to fight, but not like on our own fight. So I could see where this would put off a lot of people. Okay, quiet down. Volleyball rally. Woohoo. We didn't even play volleyball at the school I grew up. We didn't even have volleyball anywhere around us. Nice job. <laughs> yeah. Man, you still got it, coach. Thanks. Let's go for one more. Out. Hasn't 
change to bed. Hmm? Uh, pretty boring. Right? So he just smacks the kid in the face and gets to walk away? I don't think I've ever... S Is it normal for, like, teachers to play against students? Because I guarantee you none of the teachers could have played any sport at my school. So, you know, having an ex-Olympic athlete play volleyball against a bunch of kids? Class D... Okay, so now that we can quick travel. Aha, uh -huh, that's pretty cool. So we can just click it and quick travel. That's cool. Said I could not see anybody playing a teacher. Or teachers playing anything. I mean, it's just kind of weird. I thought thought it was like always inner class stuff. That's always how we did it. Was in, it was inner like grades. So I'm guessing we're looking for the guys with the jerseys. Yeah, he looks a little bit beat up. How do you get like that even just like from volleyball? Damn it! Like shouldn't you... I don't know, I guess... Looking like you just got out of the boxing ring is what volleyball looks like here. Let's split up gang. Let's scooby doo right now. 3C. So, third year classes on the first floor. How does that? It don't make sense to me. I got a, I got a stupid mind. Third grade should be the third grade three, I guess it is, should be on the third floor to me. I don't know. Yeah. Why do you look like? I mean, these guys got at least they're. The hurt eyes are on opposite ends, so they can at least play next to each other and be fine. Uh huh. Sure. You know, my question is: Is are these kids good enough to keep going and playing volleyball, or is it just for the school? Like, I still don't understand the whole. Oh, hey. Yeah, I don't care about talking to Ryuji. I don't even use my phone in real life very much, so. Just sad to say, but, yeah. Okay, looking for a hurt kid. There he is. I mean, Kamashiri even looks like that type of dude, like with the hair. I can't do it. So as soon as the matches were done, we're going to leave. Like they had a set amount of matches. It wasn't just kind of like, oh, hey, let's grab this grade to play. I don't understand how it works. Can I talk to you for a sec? No, thank you. It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all. There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just 
happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? I do wanna know if he knows her. I just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? This guy. Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? Oh, I thought it was going to say, I have, I thought it said, I have an amazing strike. Or spike. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. Psh, this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Daggum, he cut deep on that one. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. I still can't do anything but go to sleep and get messages because volleyball sports makes things makes people do a lot of crazy things why is he so caught up on on What, didn't they pronounce it on or was it an? An Takamaki. 
Um, I don't know. Like, is it going to be one of those weird spellings, like on, or is it going to be just normal, like Ann? I don't know. I can't remember if they've said it or not, or if I'm just imagining things at this point. And last time I played, whenever I played it, I think it was the, I think I played in the second one. I can't remember if they did say it or not. My memory's not good anymore. I need Ginkgo Biloba now. Isn't that what they take nowadays? Don't text me. Suzui? Right, that's what. Surely it's not like. Sush I don't know. Let's not even try to pronounce something different. Let's just go with the first good instinct. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance too? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. I feel like they just like took, s tried to take some old gangster slang and put it in this a little bit. What is it? Like that was actually pretty cringy. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I'll stack. There's no. No, uh, sound. Okay. Th then I'll... Why didn't we ask her about Kamashita? like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Sneak attack. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you All we can do is call the cops. The castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You we had to run through Kamoshida? everything just to get the king. I didn't think of that. But, is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! 
This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? Meow. You gotta be you gotta be some comedic relief sometimes. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up. You no, know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? Quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? <laughs> Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... So that is what's up with all those. For real? He, he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Yep, talking cat knows all. Good. Let's just follow. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? Let's do it. Let's, let's take it. Risk it for the biscuit. Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point. 
If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. Uh, isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it! I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here.